Hey, Kasim. Hey, Nick. Hey, here we are again. Hey, thanks or, for having me back. You know what? I actually, even though it's annoying, I think you got to have half a shadow. We're both going to have half a shadow on our face. You want sunglasses? I got a whole case full. Yeah. Whoa. Take a pic. Yeah. I wanted to tell you a story about my first pet. Good, because I got some errands to run and I re would really appreciate being entertained. Cool. I'm 28 and I, ha I just got my first dog. And I never had a dog growing up because my dad claimed he was allergic. But he, he, he wasn't. He He's just allergic. didn't like dogs. But essentially this all started with one, I got beat up in sixth grade. Uh -huh. It was me and a friend were at a, a park and we were playing half court basketball. But then there was eighth grade kids who wanted to use the entire blacktop to play their hockey game. So I, I ended up being mouthy and saying, no, we should all share, or whatever. I ended up going home with like a bruise and like my knee was kind of bloody because it, it pushed me down on the blacktop. And my mom, I came home and wanted to act like everything was cool as so I was like, oh, hey mom. And she was like, oh no, what has happened? I think she felt like a dog would be, you know, good. In case anyone attacks me, the dog will kill him. My dad obviously refuted that idea. Mm, they're gross. But he compromised. He said, let's do a bird instead. <laughs> we get a cockatiel. Very aggressive bird. I end up getting so attached to Snowy is what I named her. And a great, really aggressive name too. So Snowy and I end up uh, growing to really love each other. But my mom, while one day when she was uh, clipping, because sometimes as bird owners you had to clip the wings so they don't fly away. So she's clipping the wings and S S Snowy somehow like bites her way free and then just gone. So the bird flies away and it's like cue the saddest week of my life. My mom felt bad, but they also had that thing where they were like, it's a fucking bird, get over it. Right. You queer. Right. And again, there's many issues here with, right. with their language. Right here. Mm. Yeah. All pizza colada. Right. Mm. A few days later, uh, I'm in mourning, I'm uh, lost, and I hear her, uh, what are they called? Chirps. Chirps? The tweets? She was tweeting. She was tweeting. She tweeted at The you. bird was tweeting. And eventually, I tracked her down to one giant tree. So I saw her, and I, I called for her. This Come on, Snowy! And then she finally climbed on my hand. That's incredible. And there was my bird, the bird that had been gone for a week. And this was after I've abandoned all hope and I thought that she was gone and she was probably in like Mexico or somewhere far away where she was living it up. Do you ever think that during that, that week period when, when Snowy was away that it was partying? It got into some drugs. Right. It's just waking up like yeah. next to like just another two cans, the two can of the night, you know. <laughs> and then she's like, "What am I doing? I've left my family." Yeah. No, I, that could be it, man. There's there's no way to tell. They didn't have GoPros back then. You they couldn't strap, couldn't strap one to board Snowy. So I'm walking back. I remember my brother is with me. He's yeah. looking at me like I'm the fucking man. Like I'm I'm the biggest hero in the world, and I felt like the biggest hero. I just had her here, and I'm walking proudly back to my home. And the first thing I do is I go. Look, mom, and then she starts crying because she was she felt all the guilt from right. losing it and blah 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 blah. We're not a family that generally talks about her feelings, so we let like events create emotions. Snowy brought you all together. Yeah, Snowy brought us all together. We ended up getting her a husband. I picked out a husband for her. His name was Frosty. And then they ended up having. Uh, I remember looking in the in the cage one day and I could see these little eggs, and I was so confused. I'm like, where the fuck did these eggs come from? I didn't even know cockatiels could lay eggs. They and we had a family. We had a family of cockatiels when just, you know, a year prior, she was gone. I didn't even have a bird. Now I go out again to the same park. Sure. And uh, I'm in seventh grade now. And I get beat up again. And I realize that I should have just fucking gotten a dog. So thanks, Dad. Okay. Yeah. okay. We'll see you later. Your little angel, Captain. Little bird angel. Boop. Boop. <laughs>